Gilbert Arenas was born in Tampa, Florida. Arenas was raised in the San Fernando Valley section of Los Angeles where he played basketball at Ulysses S. Grant High School. His number 25 was retired by the school. Gilbert J. Arenas Jr. born January 6, 1982 is an American former professional basketball player. Arenas attended Grant High School in the Valley Glen District of Los Angeles and accepted a scholarship offer to the University of Arizona late in his junior year. He was drafted by the Golden State Warriors with the 31st overall pick in the 2001 NBA Draft. Arenas is a three-time NBA All-Star, three-time member of the All-NBA team, and was voted the NBA Most Improved Player in the 2002-03 season. Arenas was nicknamed Agent Zero due to his former jersey number and his late-game shot-making ability. He has also been nicknamed Gibby. Both names quickly became fan favorites during his time in the Washington, D.C. area. Arenas was suspended for most of the 2009-10 NBA season because of handgun violations stemming from an episode on December 24, 2009, and for subsequent actions that appeared to make light of this episode. In late 2010, Arenas was traded to the Orlando Magic. After the 2011 NBA lockout, Arenas was the first NBA player to be waived under the Amnesty Clause. He signed with the Memphis Grizzlies for the 2011-12 NBA season. Arenas played basketball at the University of Arizona. One of his teammates, Richard Jefferson, would later join him in entering the 2001 NBA Draft. In 2001, Arenas' sophomore year, he was named First Team All-Pac-10. He helped lead Arizona to the national championship game, where they lost to the Blue Devils, 82-72. Shortly after the tournament, Arenas announced that he was foregoing his last two years at college and would enter the 2001 NBA Draft. About Gilbert Arenas' personal life Arenas has four children with Laura Govan, Isila Samaya Arenas, Elijah Amani Arenas, Hamily Arenas, and Aloni Kyan Arenas, whom he dated from 2002 until 2014. Arenas met Govan while he was playing for the Warriors. Govan worked with the Sacramento Kings Public Relations Department. One of Arenas' cousins is Javier Arenas, a professional football player who played for the NFL's Buffalo Bills. Another cousin, Armando Murillo, has played in the Canadian Football League. Arenas is a friend of rapper The Game and was listed in the booklet for The Game's second album Doctor's Advocate. He collects a synthetic basketball from each team played, as well as players' jerseys, of which he has more than 400, most of which are autographed. He supported PETA's anti for mission by posing shirtless for their Inc., Not Mink campaign. Arenas donated $100 for every point he scored in each home game during the 2006-07 season to local D.C. area schools, while Wizards team owner Abe Polin matched that contribution for each away game. He has also mentored a D.C. boy who lost his family in a fire at age 10. Arenas got him a job as a ball boy for the Wizards. Arenas has had his own shoe, the Adidas Gill Zero, as well as his own line of Adidas TS Light Switch shoes. Arenas wear size 141 to 2 shoes. Following the gun incident in 2009, Adidas dropped their sponsorship of Arenas. Instead of signing another endorsement deal, he turned to his vast collection of shoes. For nearly every game of the season, Arenas wore a different pair of shoes, wearing a total of 77 different pairs. Arenas admitted that he ran about 60 red lights in four months and got away with it by keeping his dealer plates on his vehicle. On June 27, 2013, Arenas was arrested by the LAPD for the possession of illegal fireworks. Gilbert J. Arenas Jr., the former professional basketball player, has left an indelible mark both on and off the court. While his on-court achievements are well documented, let's delve into his philanthropic endeavors and the impact he has made beyond basketball. Arenas is a father of five, including his son Elijah Arenas, who is an elite basketball prospect. His commitment to his children extends beyond the game, as he fights for their well-being, much like his own father fought for him. Although specific details about his philanthropic efforts are not widely publicized, Arenas has been involved in various community initiatives. Many athletes use their platform to give back, and it's likely that Arenas has contributed to causes close to his heart. 
Arenas's journey, from Grant High School to the NBA, serves as an inspiration to aspiring athletes. His resilience, talent, and passion continue to motivate basketball enthusiasts worldwide. About Gilbert Arena's professional career. After a productive college career, Arenas entered the 2001 NBA draft. Despite strong consideration from many teams in the first round, Arenas fell to the second round, being selected with the 31st overall pick by the Golden State Warriors. Arenas would wear the number zero on his jersey to signify the number of minutes that experts predicted he would play coming from a small high school going to a college powerhouse in Arizona. Arenas started 30 games and averaged 10.9 points per game for the Warriors, who finished in last place in the Western Conference that season. In 2002-03, his sophomore season, Arenas received the NBA Most Improved Player Award and was named Most Valuable Player of the Rookie Sophomore Game during the NBA All-Star Weekend. After the 2002-03 season, Arenas became a restricted free agent. He reportedly flipped a coin to decide among several teams seeking to sign him, including the Wizards, Warriors, and Clippers. The Washington Wizards offered him a six-year, $60 million contract. The Warriors were unable to match this offer because they were over the salary cap and because Arenas was a second-round pick. If Arenas had been drafted in the first round, the salary cap had exceptions that would have allowed the Warriors to match the offer sheet. The Gilbert Arenas rule was later created to allow teams to re-sign restricted free agents who were not first-round picks. Arenas battled a strained abdominal muscle injury all season. Arenas teamed up with shooting guard Larry Hughes, 22.0 points per game, in 2004-05 to give the Wizards the highest scoring backcourt duo in the NBA. Arenas was selected for his first NBA All-Star game. He guided the team to a 45-win season and its first playoff berth since 1997. Arenas led the team in scoring with 25.5 PPG, finishing 7th in the league in that category. He also finished 6th in the league in steals per game in 2004-05 with 2.24. Hughes led the league with 2.93 steals per game. In the 5th game of the first round of the Eastern Conference playoffs in 2005, Arenas hit a 16-foot fadeaway as time expired to give the Wizards a 112-110 win over the Chicago Bulls. The Wizards eventually won the series, the franchise's first playoff series victory in more than two decades. In 2006, Wizards fan site WiznutZZ.com jokingly nicknamed him Agent Zero, a nickname Arenas liked so much that it stuck. Arenas averaged 29.3 points, which ranked fourth among the scoring leaders, two steals, also fourth, and 6.1 assists per game during the 2005-06 NBA season. However, he was not initially chosen for the 2006 All-Star game. He was named as a replacement after Indiana Pacers forward, center Jermaine O'Neal was injured. He also participated in the three-point shootout, where he placed second, after Dirk Nowitzki. The Washington Wizards finished 42-40 and earned the fifth seed in the Eastern Conference. Arenas himself has noted that he withdrew from the United States national team for the 2006 FIBA World Championship because he felt that assistant coaches Mike D'Antoni and Nate McMillan had determined the roster even prior to tryouts. Afterward, he stated that he planned on averaging 50 points against their respective teams, Phoenix Suns and Portland Trailblazers. He succeeded at his goal versus powerhouse Phoenix, scoring 54 points, including 21 of 37 from the field, 6 of 12 three-pointers, while reportedly eyeing in the direction of Suns chairman Jerry Colangelo, in a high-scoring 144-139 Wizards win over the Suns. However, on February 11th versus the Blazers, he was held to a lowly 9 points, including tying the Wizards franchise record for 3-point futility, going 0-4-8 from behind the arc, in a 94-73 loss versus Portland. In an overtime game versus the Los Angeles Lakers on December 17, 2006, at the Staples Center in Los Angeles, Arenas scored a career-high 60 points adding 8 rebounds and 8 assists in helping lead the Wizards over the Lakers, 147-141. to Arenas holds the Wizards franchise record for points scored in a game by an individual, a record he now shares with Bradley Beal. 
The previous record of 56 points was held by Earl Monroe, achieved in 1968, which was also an overtime game against the Lakers. Arena's 16 points in the extra period also set an NBA record for most points in one overtime period, surpassing Earl Boykin's record by one point. On January 3rd, 2007, Arenas hit a 32-foot buzzer beater to win the game against the Milwaukee Bucks, 108-105. to Two weeks later on Martin Luther King Jr. Day, he hit another buzzer-beating three-pointer to beat the Utah Jazz, 114-111, to in a thriller at the Verizon Center. This same scenario has been added as a cut scene in the video game NBA Live 2008. He also hit a game-winning layup as time expired to beat the Seattle Supersonics on March 21, 2007. In February 2007, during the final days of All-Star voting, Arenas was voted as a first-time starter for the 2007 NBA All-Star Game for the Eastern Conference, edging out Vince Carter by a slight margin, with 1,454,166 votes to Carter's 1,451,156. At the time, he was averaging 29.7 points per game and led all Eastern Conference point guards in scoring and was second in the league. Towards the end of the season, Arenas tore his MCL during a game against the Charlotte Bobcats when Gerald Wallace fell into his leg. The Wizards struggled to finish the season with Arenas and teammate Karen Butler both being injured. Washington earned a playoff berth but was swept in the first round in a rematch with the Cleveland Cavaliers. During the offseason, Arenas told the Washington Post that he would opt out of his contract after the 2007-08 season, making him a free agent. He stated, if something happens where they don't want me or they're going in a different direction, I can look elsewhere. But my intentions are not to leave. On December 18, 2010, Arenas was traded to the Orlando Magic for Richard Lewis. Arenas chose to wear number one on his jersey in honor of his favorite player, Penny Hardaway. He was the backup point guard, with Jameer Nelson at the starting role. The Magic finished 52-30 and clinched the fourth seed in the Eastern Conference and made the playoffs. However, Orlando lost to the Atlanta Hawks in six games in the opening round of the playoffs. On December 9, 2011, after the end of the 2011 NBA lockout, Arenas was waived by the Orlando Magic under the Amnesty Clause being the first player to be waived under the newly established clause at the time of its inclusion. He cleared waivers and became a free agent. Due to the 2011 NBA lockout, the 2011-12 NBA season was reduced from its normal 82 games to 66 games. In the summer of 2011, Arenas acted with former Wizards teammate Edden Thomas in a dramatic production of Our Town by Thornton Wilder. On March 20th, 2012, the Memphis Grizzlies signed Arenas. His primary role was again a backup point guard, this time to Mike Conley Jr. The Grizzlies finished 41-25 and clinched the fourth seed in the Western Conference. However, they lost in the first round to the Los Angeles Clippers in a full seven-game series. Arenas' final NBA game was played in Game 7 of the 2012 Western Conference first round on May 13, 2012. Memphis would lose game 772 to 82, thus losing the series to the Los Angeles Clippers with Arenas only playing for three minutes and recording no stats. On November 19, 2012, Arenas signed with the Shanghai Sharks of the Chinese Basketball Association. In his first season in the CBA, Arenas averaged 20.7 points per game, 7.3 rebounds per game, and 3.0 assists per game in 27.3 minutes per game. He played in 14 games and started in 8 of them. However, the Sharks finished at 10-22 and missed the playoffs. Arenas hosted a daily sports show on Complex News' YouTube channel. He also has his own No Chill Productions podcast called The No Chill Podcast. About Gilbert Arenas' house. Gilbert Arenas, the former NBA star, has owned several impressive properties. Let's explore two of his notable residences. Encino, California home, this Mediterranean-style estate offers stunning views that stretch from Burbank to Calabasas. The home spans approximately 5,850 square feet. It boasts 5 bedrooms and 4.5 bathrooms. 
hardwood floors, soaring ceilings, and five fireplaces create an inviting ambience. The well-equipped kitchen features a six-burner Viking stove, a farmhouse sink, and an enormous built-in fridge. The property includes a three-car garage and space for an additional 10 vehicles. Gilbert Arenas is currently asking $3.8 million for this gated estate. Arenas' Virginia residence, situated in Great Falls, offers luxurious living on a grand scale. The mansion spans over 13,000 square feet. It boasts seven bedrooms and ten bathrooms. Cherrywood floors, vaulted ceilings, and custom molding enhance the interior. Great Falls and Fairfax County provides excellent recreational opportunities for hiking and fishing. Arenas began construction on this brick-lined manor after signing a massive $111 million contract with the Washington Wizards. The property offers picturesque views of the surrounding area. The home sits on a 1.2-acre parcel, providing ample space and privacy. Whether it's the California estate with Tuscan touches or the Virginia Palace, Gilbert Arenas's homes reflect his success and taste for luxury. Gilbert Arenas, the former NBA player, has an estimated net worth of $20 million. Thanks so much for watching our video. Till next time.